Welcome back to Paranormal Resident and welcome residents to Cork City Jail. The Cork City Jail in Sunday's Well was designed to replace the old jail at the North Gate Bridge in the heart of the city. The old jail was nearly 100 years old on a confined site, overcrowded and unhygienic. The new Cork City Jail opened in 1824 and was reported as being the finest in three kingdoms. For nearly two centuries, Cork City Jail has played an important part in the city's heritage and remains a prime example of 19th century Cork architecture. Here is a timeline of events that occurred throughout Cork City Jail's history. 1818 Construction of the exterior walls of Cork City Jail began. 1824 Cork City Jail accepts its first prisoners. 1845 to 1849 During the Great Famine, many starving people committed crimes hoping to be sent to the jail as they would be fed and receive clothing and a warm bed. In 1858, new woolen suits were introduced for male inmates. Heating pipes were also installed. In 1868, executions are moved inside the jail walls. In 1870, the western wing is remodelled. In 1878, Cork City Jail becomes a woman-only jail. 1880, a new kitchen is added behind the governor's house. 1919, the Irish War of Independence sees many female Republicans sent to the jail. 1922 to 1923, male and female Republicans are kept in the jail due to the Irish Civil War. In 1923, the conditions in the jail were so bad that the prisoners were transferred to other prisons or just released and the jail closed. In 1927, Radio Erin began broadcasting from the centre of the main building up until the end of the 1950s. During the 1950s and 60s, the Department of Post and Telegraphs used the jail as a training school. During the 1970s and 80s, the Department of Post and Telegraphs used the jail for storage. And in 1993, following several decades, of being left idle and derelict, the jail undergoes restoration and is open to the public as a visitor's attraction. Here are some personal accounts from the prisoners of Cork City Jail. Mary Sullivan Mary Sullivan was a seamstress by trade. In 1865, following her eight conviction, she received a seven-year sentence for the theft of cloth, an unusually long sentence for the crime. Prisoners with long sentences were regularly transported to Australia, as this cost less than housing them in the jail. Mary MacDonnell Mary MacDonnell was charged with neglecting her children and for beating one of them while being drunk. She is a widow with 56 previous convictions and still only 23 years old. Mary is serving one month and her children have been sent to the workhouse. Sadly, in the year 1865, 156 children died out of a total of 868 in the workhouses of Cork. Well-known pickpocket Edward O'Brien served a three-week sentence with twice weekly whippings for petty theft. At only nine years of age, the seasoned thief already had seven previous convictions. Following his sentence in the jail, he went to a reformatory school for five years. Perhaps the education he will receive there will be his saving grace. Cork City Jail is said to be incredibly haunted. In today's video, I get out my spirit box and try and communicate with the lost souls of Cork City Jail. Before we start, make sure to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter, all linked down below. Here we go. Hey guys, so I'm in one of the cells. They're tiny. So there would have been probably two in the cell. This would have been probably a larger cell. So you can see the ceiling the door behind me that little hatch is where they would have got their meals delivered there's a little like air vent in the floor just on the wall there that's the only bit of light they would have got so a lot of people who fought for irish freedom would have um ended up in here because it would have been against the british government and crime and punishment here was very bad okay guys so i have the spirit box going around the ground 
um, next to the old, it's called the Derby Jail, where they would have. Okay, if there's any. Where they would have. Okay, if there's any. See the jail behind me there, guys. What's your name? Do you know why I'm here? I want to talk to the spirits. The haunt Cork Jail, if you're here with me now. Tell me your name, or can you say mine if you're here with me now? Tell me your name, or can you say mine jail if you're here with me now? Tell me your name, or can you say my name? What's my name? What were you in prison for? Why were you in prison? Such an amazing place, guys. Were you executed here? So, solitary confinement wing was here. So I think it's this bit over. Yeah, solid cheek confinement. So let's walk over there and see. Do you need? Do you need? Do you need help to cross over? Behind me here, guys, in solitary confinement. Were you kept in solitary confinement? 
On Ghost Tube, you're asking for your baby. Do you need to find your baby? How many spirits haunt Cork Jail? Sixteen or six? Sixteen or six? Sixteen or six? How did you die? Did you die here? Were you sick? Guys, so I'm gonna stop the spare box session, Jerry, just before more tourists come around. <laughs> but um, yeah, I love this place.